So isn't it funny when you're finally able to afford to hire employees to help you do more stuff in your business that you have a challenge with delegating? I always found that really interesting in my business. I'm going to share in this video some things that really have helped me become a better delegator. Delegating is really the key to buy back more time in your business and to get more done with less frustration. Wouldn't it be nice to clone yourself? How great would that be in your business? Unfortunately, we're not there yet, so until then, delegating will be the key to grow your business with a lot less frustration. So again, I just always, I found it interesting as my business has grown, I had the ability to hire people. You put people in place and then you're kind of off to the next thing and you just don't take the time to work with them or, or sit with them or train them. And then really what I realized is, that, you know, I wasn't releasing the responsibilities. So delegating really comes with some, with trust and faith in whoever it is that you're delegating with. It also is really important that the person that you're delegating with has the abilities to handle whatever it is that you're delegating with them and that they're the right person. When I got started in my business about 12 years ago, there was things that I said that no one would be ever able to do in my business. And really it just all came down to with me getting over the fact of releasing that control and allowing someone else to do um, whatever that was in my business. There's been things now that have been passed along to three or four or five different people. There's things that I've delegated out that to be honest, if someone in my business asked me to do today, I would need a refresher on it and I'd probably have to get retrained on it. So anything that you're saying, no one can do this besides me, it's BS, get over yourself. And there is probably nothing in your business that can't be trained or delegated to somebody else. If there is, then that's a whole nother problem. If you can't delegate out a majority of the things in your business, you're never gonna be able to grow to that next level and you'll never have any time um, and you'll just get completely drained. So the first thing is don't jump in at the first hiccup or speed bump, meaning when you hire someone to do something, they're gonna be handling things now in the business. Something's gonna come up, an issue, a problem, a challenge. They might know not exactly what to do. They'll probably come to you for that. Your knee-jerk reaction is gonna be, just like mine, is gonna to be to jump in and fix that problem. It's always faster and easier just to do that and to get done and to move on to the next thing. And it just feels so time consuming to do the opposite, which is do nothing, explain to the employee how to handle that, what to do, take the time and walk them through it, Really in the beginning, you're, the, the delegating is gonna be this hands-on training until you have the right team in place, the right management team that can really start helping with the delegation. So in the beginning, when we hired anyone, it always felt like we were taking three steps back because you have to sit there and spend the time and be really hands-on and allow them to solve the issue, solve the problems. It's always gonna feel like it's a little bit longer, but if you take three steps back to the short term, in the long run, it'll be a game changer and you'll have people in your business that'll be able to handle the things that you just shouldn't be handling anymore. The second thing is something I utilize that's called clarify and verify. A lot of times, most of the things you say get interpreted completely differently. This is something you can use in your business and in your personal life as well too. When you delegate out a task or something for one of your employees to do, it's really important to clarify and have them verify back to you what it is that you want them to do and exactly how they heard it. You'd be surprised a lot of the times they hear things differently and they go and do something different and then you shake your head like, why, why did they do this? It's not because they don't care or because they weren't listening, they were listening, just the way you said it was interpreted differently. So clarify and verify, this will save you a lot of back and forth and aggravation. It's really simple to do, it's really easy, I recommend trying it. And the third thing is that is really great that we've started to really utilize in our business is something called RPM. It stands for Results Focused, Purpose Driven, Massive Action Plan. When you're explaining something or delegating something to your employee, focus on the results, like what's the end result of doing this and what's the goal here? What are we trying to accomplish? If they can understand the results, it'll make things a little bit easier for them to understand. More importantly is why, what's the purpose? Why are we doing this? If your employees can understand the purpose, light bulbs will probably go off, things will click, and if they can understand the purpose of why you're giving them this to do or why there's this big change, a lot of times the dots will connect for them and it'll make it easier to delegate out tasks, especially when those tasks um, involve something that's changing or a process or something new in the business. And then a massive action plan is really simple. Don't overthink this. Put together a simple plan of how they're gonna go and do this and get this accomplished. 
So practice RPM. It really makes it a lot easier uh, when you're delegating out to talk about the end result, the purpose of why you're doing it, and then the plan and the step-by-step -step things that they need to do in order to accomplish this. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I pump out videos like this just about every single day. The whole point of my videos is to give you a different point of view, a different perspective in order to help grow your business to the next level. If there's anything you'd like more clarity on, if you have any feedback, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you'd like me to focus on another topic, please comment below. I really enjoy those comments. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about me, check out my link below. I wish you nothing but success in growing your business. I appreciate you watching my videos and we'll talk soon. Take care.